Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over the triple tower fletching jig by boning. We're going to go over how to assemble it and how to use it. So let's get to it. Uh, it doesn't come assembled, so let's go through the parts and pieces. This here is the base. This is uh, to what all your components will attach to. Here are your center posts right here, and these are for the different arrow sizes. You have uh, center posts for standard carbon, a knock, F knock, H E knock, pin knock, and crossbow bolt. You have the tension lever, which is right here, that will be installed underneath the base, and that's going to be installed with this 832nd screw right here. It'll go through this, through the base, and into your center post. And then here you have your vein arms. You have uh, red that is one degree right offset. Black, that is 3 degree right helical. And gray, that is going to be a straight fletching. Then you have your pressure rings right here. They are for different size arrow shafts. With uh, 1964 and smaller using the red. Uh, the lime is going to go for 1964 all the way up to 2564. And orange is for all shafts 2564 and larger. Then you have the clamp re release tape. Clamp release tape is important if you're going to use a super glue type fletching glue. That is going to be applied to the vein arms so the adhesive won't stick to the plastic. And you'll have a good surface to uh, clean off. Um, the actual vein arms are going to attach to the base via these uh, 632 by quarter inch screws. Now you're going to see three additional screws and the right here, that's if you use these spacer blocks. That is for if you desire to have your fletching further away from the knock of the arrow. So let's go ahead and get to the assembly. The first step of the assembly process is to determine which center post you're going to use. So for that you're going to have to get the arrow that you're going to fletch and you're going to have to find out which center post is going to fit nice and snug in there. And this one's going to work great for this Triple X Pro. So we'll set that aside and grab our base. Now that we know what center post our arrow is calling for, we're going to install our tension lever into the base of our tower jig. So we're gonna take it and with the tab down, we're gonna set it just like so. Just rotate it right into position and there it is. Now we're gonna take our 830 seconds screw, push that in there. Now we have the uh, threaded end of the screw popping through. We, need, we have to manually slide back these arms and get the center post in there. We could screw it by hand until it's snug. Now you want to go snug but not tight because this has to move and that's going to work out great. Next up in the process is to apply the clamp release tape that has been provided with the package. This is because we're going to be using an instant fletching glue, so you don't want it to stick to the plastic of the fletching arms. So you're just going to take one of these, peel off the tape, and apply it over the cutout. Press that down. Take either your fingernail or a knife and cut out the tape where the cutout for the vein is. You're going to re repeat this process for every arm that you're going to use. And if glue gets on this tape, you can clean it off with uh, acetone or any other cleaner. There it is. Time for the next step. The final step in the assembly is to attach the vein arms to the jig itself. So what you want to do is take one of the 632nd nuts and you're going to hold it with your finger into this hexagonal cutout. And then what you want to do is take one of the 632nds by quarter inch screws and just get it started. Okay, just a little bit. 
Once you get it started, you want to take the vein arm, you want to slide it under and snap it right into place, and then tighten down the screw. You're going to repeat this for all three vein arms. Now your fletching jig is ready to use. Prior to fletching the arrow, we need to prepare the shaft and we're gonna do this with the Boning SSR Arrow Shaft Surface Cleaner. To do this, all you have to do is you take a damp rag and sprinkle the SSR granules onto the damp rag. And then once the granules are on the damp rag, you're going to take your arrow shaft and you're going to gently work them into the arrow shaft. What this is going to do, this is going to clean the arrow shaft and it's also going to leave micro abrasions on the surface of the carbon. Once you're done with this process, take some hot water and you're going to rinse off the arrow. Once the arrow is thoroughly rinsed off, you're going to allow it to air dry before fletching. This treatment along with the boning veins and the blazer bond glue should leave you with a bond that's going to outlast the arrow. Next step of the process is to install the veins into the vein arms. Uh, boning veins come pre-primed so there's no need to clean them off with acetone first. We are going to wear rubber gloves though because we'll be pushing them down with our fingers and we don't want to get oil on the adhesive surface of the veins. So we're going to go ahead and just push them in and slide them down until they stop. There's one. There's two, there's three, and we are ready for the glue. With our veins in place, our tower ring, and our prepared arrow handy, we're going to go ahead and start the gluing process. So we're going to take this uh, blazer bond, and we're going to start at the top of the vein, and lay a small bead from top to bottom. One, two, and three. Now we're going to take the arrow. We're going to install it onto the center post. Manually tilt the arms up. Slide the ring down over the vein arms. Now we're going to move our lever, tension lever in. We're just going to take our hands and just a little bit of tension on there. And we're going to count to 20 and then after 20 seconds we'll be able to take the jig apart and remove the arrow. 20 seconds has passed. We're going to pull up on the ring. Pull back on the vein arms and remove the arrow. Now that the arrow has been removed, take a piece of paper towel and wipe off any excess glue. And you might want to hit the vein arms as well in case you went a little heavier than anticipated. But there you have a fletched arrow with the boning tower jig. I uh, hope this helped you out. For more information, go to boning.com.